Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video I'm going to be decluttering and organizing our master bedroom closets. These are the last spaces in our home that need decluttered and organized. In my decluttering video last week I decluttered and organized all of the other spaces and closets in my home that needed it. And like I had said in that last video I'm just trying to start off 2021 with a lot less clutter and getting things organized so that's what I've been working on the last two weeks and this is is what our three master bedroom closets looked like before I got started. They were really messy and they usually aren't this messy but things had just gotten really crazy the last couple weeks. So it was a good time to just get in here and start decluttering and organizing. And I just did a master bedroom makeover in here, which I'm sure that you saw that video where we completely decorated the room and added furniture and everything. So I've got an empty dresser and two empty nightstands that I also can fill up with clothes today. And you'll have to excuse my voice in this video. I've got a little bit of a cold, but I'm still trying to do this voiceover. So hopefully it all turns out okay. So that door there to the left is the door that you take into our master bedroom and then you're in this little hallway where there is this closet to the left and our master bathroom to the right. So I started off by decluttering this closet here. I pulled everything out of this closet onto the floor and started going through it all and just deciding what we were going to donate and what we were going to keep. The stuff that we stored in this closet, we didn't use that often. It was things like my husband's hunting clothes, our snowboarding winter clothes, which we had all of that stored in these garbage bags. And so that was going to change. I went through all of that and was able to donate a lot. And then what we were keeping, um, I was going to be able to store in either the dresser drawers or our closet. Now that we had the dresser, we were going to have more storage. This is my wedding dress, which I wanna take this and get it professionally cleaned and boxed up. I'm a little bit late to doing this because we've been married for eight years and I'm just now wanting to take it and get it cleaned and boxed up. Um, but better late than never, I wanna get this done soon, hopefully here. I would love to hear what you did with your wedding dress. I think it's really neat when people have it displayed in their walk-in closet. If you have like a big enough closet, I don't have a big enough closet for that, but it's really neat when people do that or I know some people will make like a dedication dress for their little girl out of their wedding dress. I have just kept mine in storage all these years and try it on about every two years on our anniversary just for fun. All of that stuff in the Lowe's box has been in there since we moved. When we moved out of the farmhouse, I took everything from our nightstand drawers and put it into that box. And we haven't had nightstands until now when I did the master bedroom makeover a few weeks ago. Um, so now that we had nightstands, I went through that box, was able to get rid of a lot of stuff and everything that I wanted to keep, I organized into our new nightstands. I do store some of our shoes inside of this closet and then here you're getting a look at the before and then the after a pretty drastic transformation I was able to get rid of so much stuff that was in this closet and organize it into other places because the plan for this closet is that we want to turn half of it into built-in shelves from floor to ceiling to store towels and washcloths and sheets and all that different type of stuff since it's right across from the bathroom and now I'm moving on to the next closet here which is my husband's closet. I straightened it up a little bit and then I just started to go through everything and see what I could get rid of out of here.
hope that this video can give you lots of inspiration and motivation if you're trying to declutter and organize your house this month. I know that me personally, I always end up doing a big declutter in my house in January just to start the year off fresh. And once I finish these last two closets, I'll be completely done decluttering my whole house, which is such a good feeling. And then I'll be taking my big load of stuff to donate, which is a really good feeling when you take that big load of stuff out of your house. decluttering and organizing is actually something that I really enjoy doing. It's just so satisfying to me to get rid of stuff that you don't use, get a closet all nice and organized, like seeing this before and after right here is so awesome and such a good feeling. I just keep on opening the door of the closet and looking in and just enjoying how organized it is. So when you walk into Jalen's closet straight ahead, I have these two white organizers from Dollar Tree. These are some of my favorite organizers that they sell. These would be awesome in a pantry they're really good quality and then this three drawer organizer is from Walmart and my husband was actually snowboarding while I was filming this video so I didn't have all of his snowboarding clothes but in that top drawer I will keep all of his snowboarding clothes and in the second drawer as well and this little organizer dresser with the fabric bins is really good quality I would recommend these and I'll put the link down below Now the last closet is my closet and it's extremely messy so we're gonna get started working on this I'm going to just be removing this dresser out of the closet so that I have more room to hang up clothes Once I got half of the floor cleared out and that dresser, then I started to go through some of the clothes that were hanging up on the racks. I went through my shirts. I had recently gone through those, so there really wasn't too many to get rid of. And then I stacked all of my skirts on the bed so I could go through those. And then after that, I went back to working on the floor. I was kind of jumping in between areas. There was just so much stuff to go through, but I'm going through all of this, trying to get rid of as much as possible. And I heard somebody share this idea a while back. If you bring something new into your closet, it, you have to get rid of one thing and so I'm going to try to start applying that to my closet I don't buy new clothes that often but when I do I want to do that just so that I don't get too many clothes and I may even go through my clothes a second time after this and try to have an even more minimal wardrobe Okay, I'm gonna take a break from the closet and organize clothes into this empty dresser. These two bottom drawers, I was going to put some of my husband's clothes in. Some of his nicer t-shirts and pants are gonna go in this bottom drawer, and then the second drawer up will be all of his hoodies. And then since I don't have any dressers in my closet anymore, all of the rest of the drawers are going to be for my clothes.
Okay, so here's a look at some of the organized dresser drawers. In this bottom drawer here, I have some of my winter clothes, which I might put in a bin in the top of my closet eventually because I don't use these very often. And then here is all of my t-shirts, long sleeve shirts in this next drawer. And I love folding my shirts like this in a drawer. That way you can see all of the shirts at once when you open up the drawer as opposed to them like stacked on top of each other. I've been folding our t-shirts this way for quite a few years now and it works out awesome. So once I had the dresser all organized, I moved back to the closet. I'm jumping around again, but we're gonna go and finish up the closet now. I'm going through everything that I had stacked up on the top shelf in my closet. Now lastly in here, I'm going to add some hooks for hats, belts, purses. These ones are from Hearth and Hand from Target. Lastly here I'm just going through my dresses, seeing which ones I can sell or donate and also organizing them by color. And I do that with my shirts and skirts as well, just have them all organized by color. And another thing is to have all the same color and kind of hanger in your closet. It can really give your closet just a whole different look. These are just cheap white hangers from Walmart, but just being that I have all the same white hangers in my closet makes it look more organized and clean. While I was cleaning off the top shelf in my closet, I found a few things that I wanted to add to my dresser here. This big coral we found washed up on the beach in Kauai, and then the smaller coral we found washed up on the beach in Maui, and then that little candle I had had there before that is from at home. And in my bedroom makeover video, I forgot to show you this plant that I had over here by the screen. I got this from Ross and it was only $8.99, which is a really good deal for a plant this size. And here is everything that I was able to get rid of out of those three closets, which just blows my mind. I can't believe there was this much stuff in there that I could get rid of. The first bag is things that I'm going to sell. The second bag is things I'm going to donate. And then that box is full of trash. So it's so awesome that I was able to get rid of all this stuff. I hope that you enjoyed this decluttering and organizing video. It feels so good to have my whole entire house decluttered and organized now. I hope that you enjoyed these two decluttering videos that I've done here on my channel. And I hope that they gave you some motivation and inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a couple days with a brand new video. Bye.